I, do, I read nonfiction books. I don't read anything fiction. I don't read novels. My favorite subject is religion. So I guess you could say I read nonfiction books about fictional books. So, uh... No, I was at the bookstore the other day. They have a book in there called Christianity for Dummies. And I was like, huh, oh, the irony. Uh... Totally racist, too. They were all printed in Spanish. Like, what are they trying to say? That, like, all Mexicans ride the bus? That's bullshit. I live in an all-Mexican neighborhood, and I can tell you for a fact, all Mexicans drive an 87 Chevy Astro van, okay? <laughs> With rims. So that's bullshit and racist. We were arguing about the, the Richard Dawkins book, The God Delusion. He's like, I can't believe you like that guy. I can't believe you like that book. That guy's an idiot. That guy's a moron. Like, all right, look, you may not agree with this book, but he's not a moron. And the guy's like an evolutionary biologist, a geneticist, a great author, great professor. He's not an idiot. The guy's like, he's got nothing to say. He's got no new arguments. I'm like, okay, let me hear one, re run, run, one rebuttal from you. Just, just refute one of his arguments. He makes 100 good points in his book. Pick one. Pick the easiest one. Pick it, just give me your rebuttal, go. And my friend goes, well, I haven't read the book. <laughs> and I go, go figure, a Christian who's got fervent beliefs about a book he's never actually read. <laughs> I kind of think racism is existing, but it's still somewhere in between, right? It's like nowadays it's more subtle. It's more subliminal. It's almost subconscious. Like I got a friend, totally racist, but he just thinks he's a patriot. Right? I'm like, hey man, what are you doing for Cinco de Mayo? He goes, Cinco de Mayo? I ain't Mexican. I'm like, yeah, dude, you don't have to be Mexican to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. He goes, you have any idea what that's about? I'm like, yeah, I believe it's the day the Mexicans won a battle against the French. He goes, exactly. And I, sir, am an American. I don't celebrate another country's cultural heritage. Anyway, I'm still recovering from St. Patrick's Day. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Woo, too much green beer and shepherd's pie, huh? I thought this was weird. They had two conjoined twins, and were also there were guys on there, and they were very religious, and I found that very strange. Like just, just in general, like because they kept saying, you know, well, we're just so blessed. We love God. And I was like, really? Because if there's a God, he fucking hates you. <laughs> yeah, did you double team a sister or something? Because I don't know, you know, you're supposed to be two people. <laughs> If you're like an amputee or a conjoined twin or something that God does not know how or, or just refuses to heal, what do you think about that? What do you think when you're praying every night, please God heal me? What do you think God's doing up there? You think God's up there going, no dude, I like you that way, so fucking suck it. What do you think God is doing? Do you think God's going, I have no idea what happened there. Seriously. I've abracadabra. Nothing. I don't know. Put a little butter on it. I can't help you. You believe weird shit. Astrology? That's a fucking weird one. The day you were born, <laughs> the moon was over here in this cluster of stars, which isn't really a cluster of stars, because they're billions of light years apart, and that one's been dead for a hundred billion years, and that one's a galaxy. But from our perspective, that looks like a crab. So, since the moon's over near the crab, I'm going to have a certain set of, of traits for the rest of my life. And these people fucking, they're crazy about it, right? You ever met these people? They're like, oh, what month are you born? You're like, July? They're like, oh, July. <laughs> you and I will not get along. Because you are a cancer. And cancer is the most emotional of all the signs. And I am a Virgo. And as a Virgo, I'm very logical and very rational. It's like, yeah, apparently not, because you fucking believe in astrology, all right? Let me get... Let me get this straight. You erode our collective critical thinking skills from within by spreading myth and misinformation throughout society and calling it fact. Maybe it's time we reevaluate which one of us is a cancer. I don't believe in paranormal shit, even though there's 4,000 shows on TV telling you that there's paranormal shit. Right? I hate those fucking shows. My wife watches all of them. She thinks they're hilarious. I just, they're funny for a moment, and then I just think, I just get so frustrated with how dumb they are. But I have realized that there's 40 different shows, and they all have the same cast. <laughs> they do. It's like, it's like they, they have, that, like, like specific groups of people. They, they pull, there's, there's four types that they pick from. On every show, it's the same four. You have, first, the true believer. The true believer is always, like, the one who believe, they believe everything. It's usually on the ghost shows, it's like the crazy British woman, right? <laughs> then you have the techie. 
The techie's the guy that's responsible for the scientific paraphernalia that they use on the show, right? He's not really a scientist himself, he's more of like a scientographer, right? <laughs> he's the guy responsible for like all the cool equipment, like the heatometer and the plasma graph and the shit that doesn't exist to phone, right? He's that guy. Ghosts aren't scary. They don't do anything. And there's never a cool ghost. Every ghost is some old lady who does something like rearranges your furniture. Right? Holds a pillow on your head and holds you down when you're sleeping. When was the last time you heard about a cool ghost? Anybody here ever heard about a 24-year-old nymphomaniac stripper ghost? Comes in late at night when you're sleeping and just grinds on you like you're a bedpost at a convent. Right? Have you... Just ride you all night long like she's a fat Mexican kid and you're a street carnival tilt a world? I haven't seen that ghost. I would like to. Like, yeah, like if I'm God and I don't want you to die in a horrific car accident because the world needs a solid Denny's waiter or whatever the hell it is you do. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hide your keys to delay you for two minutes because as an omnipotent being, that makes far more sense and is far easier than say, oh, I don't know, maybe I just don't cause a 50 car pile up and murder 20 people on the freeway. That's crazy, why would I do that? I'm like, hey, what about them? What about those 20 people? You ever think about that? Maybe 20 people died on the freeway because you left your keys at home, you dick. Huh? <laughs> think about that? Huh. 